Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking men's skincare. Now, that can be a very tricky subject because if it's anything like me, when I tackle skincare, for me, I want things to be simple, effective, and I don't want to spend loads and loads of time having to use different items of moisturiser, whether it be for after shaving, whether it be if I've got some dry skin, possibly around the sort of my, my neck area from shaving or that irritation. Very often myself, um, I get quite a dark sort of area around here where I don't particularly sleep very well at night. I get naturally quite stressful. I'm up sort of all hours with one thing and another sort of in the background. I've always been a very light sleeper with a few health problems in the background as well. I can be have I can have quite a long full-on day. So my skin really, really tells a story. And of course, anything uh, nowadays, who really wants to spend as a man loads and loads of time using all different skincare products? Some absolutely perfectly fine. But for me, I really like something to be quite simple. Love spending as much time as possible on my hair, but my face as little time as possible. So I like a real good sort of all-round product just to jump straight in when there with moisture, with sort of keeping my skin looking vibrant, fresh, youthful. Our face tells everything which we're trying to keep inside. And if you're not 100% following me with that, I mean, if you're having a stressful day, if you're not feeling so well in yourself, your face tells that. And I always find when you get up first thing in the morning, I mean, for myself, I'm up super, super early around 5.30. And I find when I'm, when I've shaved and I brought my sort of self up ready for the day. And I really like to use a small amount of moisturizer all over the face because I find that just pumps an injection of hydration into your skin and it just gets you ready for the day ahead. Almost makes you having that sort of be best face first, ready to take on the day. So today we are looking at the Hawkins and Brimble. I believe that's pronounced right. Absolutely. As you can see, I am nearly finished on this one. So I am in a very good position to talk about this moisturiser. Now, this, what you can see is a daily moisturiser, which uh, let me just tell you a moment. So I'll just tell you the exact, uh, the exact thing. So it's a daily energizing moisturizer and it's with natural and naturally derived materials. It's for sensitive skin. Now I was going to say this is your premium sort of top end moisturizer, which you can buy from high street stores. For me, I actually received this as a gift, um, but you can buy this directly from Hawkins and Brimble. And this costs around the £12 to £15 mark, and this is 100 mil. The packaging is really quite sophisticated. It's a really lovely gift to receive. It's in a glass bottle, so that glass brown bottle, and it just kind of almost reminds me of a, like of an era long ago like if you can imagine when they used to put products sort of in glass bottles and everybody seemed to take much more care of items when they gave a gift um back then whereas now when you go into shops and things it's literally just thrown into a plastic bag and it's given to you and you, of course you have to buy the bag yourself now nothing's wrapped nothing's sort of presented as well as what it was um i think of course because of looking after the environment for packaging and things but i just find that when you receive an item like this or a moisturizer or a hair care product and it's in a glass bottle and it's got real lovely premium sort of packaging it really does just add to the whole nostalgia of the product and certainly the brand the heritage of the brand as well so in terms of product, one thing I absolutely hate in a moisturiser is having something which is thick, gloopy and stays on your face. So that sounds strange, doesn't it? Because, of course, moisturiser stays on your face. But what I mean, when you rub a moisturiser into your face, the most horriblest thing I find is that you come back to your, you come back to yourself in the mirror later on and you, and you see a shine there and you think you go to touch your face. And the moisturiser is exactly the same as when you put it on five hours ago. I absolutely hate that. I detest that. It's my worst, worst element in a product ever. For me, what this really does fantastically well is it goes on to your skin and literally floods your skin with hydration. It wakes the skin up. It really, really does look after your skin and bringing everything sort of much more brighter, fresher. So I was saying that I get some darkness around here and very often I get some rash around here from shaving. Um, I do have sensitive skin, so I have to be ultimately careful. This is for sensitive skin. Now, the person didn't know this who bought this for me. But what it does is it soothes everything after shaving. It soothes everything, but it's not greasy. 
So if you have oily skin, or so for example, you may have a combination of uh, other different skin types. For example, parts of your skin might be dry. I have that. Corners of my mouth here often can get quite dry. Other than that, around here and my forehead area can get quite oily because I wear a lot of hair products and things like that. Um, I always like to keep my skin super cleansed because of... Um, of keeping my face cleansed with any sort of products which may run from my hair or my scalp onto my forehead or my face. So I really do have to have that really good balance of skincare. So I always make sure every time I cleanse my face that I use a moisturiser. Now on and off, I haven't used it every day, but on and off and of an evening before before bed, I have really enjoyed using this because it leaves my skin matte. So if you have got oily skin, it just literally mats everything out. There is nothing more worse that when you go to take a picture or if I'm on camera here and I can see such a shine on my face because to be honest, as a man, it looks like that you've got some sort of product on and that is horrible. That is not, I say horrible. Some, some people might like that look. I do not. I like my skin to look really, really matte. I don't like any shine. Of course, a natural sort of, uh, healthiness, like a, a like a, I suppose a natural healthy glow in skin, which is great what the sun gives us in the summer. But what this does is it just kind of, it just brings out the sort of the health, the sort of the natural sort of character of you in your skin. So literally putting your best self forward. Now, does this give you any breakouts? No. Does it soothe after shaving? Yes, it does. It absolutely does. And it's super comfortable and it's really nice and sort of revitalizing. It really does make you feel really comfortable in your own skin. And I know lots of companies use that term, but it really does. This part for me can be very uncomfortable and this soothes everything. It looks after everything. It gets rid of this here, this sort of sallow looking sometimes. I'm not talking about sort of uh, thin skin or lines or anything like that. I'm 27. Now, I do very often use moisturiser to keep on top of good skincare because I do find that looking after your skin when you're young sets you up for later on in life as well. Good skincare practices do hold such a whole, such a strong emphasis on later on in life because then, of course, you get to enjoy, reap the reward of what you put in to your skincare, your diet, your your sort of energy levels. Your that's so what well, is so important to have such a good diet because later on in life you reap all of that reward what you've done throughout your whole life. So when you use moisturisers, good quality moisturisers, I truly do believe that looking after your skin now really pays off later on in life. And this certainly is an absolute brilliant product and I will certainly be buying this one again. I absolutely love how comfortable it makes my skin feel. Let's have a look about, let's have a little bit more of a detailed look on it. So it's Barber Grade Tonics, Hawkins and Brimble, born in London, natural grooming. Okay, and it's daily energising and it's, forgive me if I've got this pronounced wrong. So Elemi, Elemi and Ginseng, okay, moisturiser with natural and naturally detrived materials for sensitive skin. It is amazing for sensitive skin, it really, really is. So let's have a look at what it tells you on the back here. Daily vitamin moisturiser, work hard but play harder. So straight away from that, I know that if I'm just looking for one product, just by that line, I can kind of tell that it's going to look after everything what I want it to do for my skin. It's going to look after shaving after shaving, the aftercare of shaving, it's going to look after keeping my skin bright, youthful, fresh, healthy, and again, keeping my best face, keeping that sort of best, nobody wants to walk around, do they, with really sort of um, patchy sort of blotchiness, soreness, irritation, anything like that. We've all been there, it's absolutely nasty, and as a young man shaving, this is the most bothersome thing sometimes. I shave every single day, it's not the shaving, it's the rash and the irritation afterwards or before which you can get. So that's sort of what, that's sort of what bothers me. Um, and of course, if you have had health problems and things in the background like myself, very often if you're waking up and you're having a bit of a bad day, but you're trying to sort of tell people, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm pushing on with the day, your skin can sometimes tell otherwise. So a really good moisturiser is a really good tip to use when you're not feeling so great as well, because it just keeps everything sort of looking healthy on the outside, as to speak. One of my tips for what I, how I, how I sort of manage things. So this luxurious moisturizer is for you, thanks to nourishing Aveeno sativa kenrel oil and oatmeal extract. This quick absorbing hydrator feeds skin with fortifying omega three and six and vitamin E to help boost skin's defense against dullness, roughness, and restore pH balance. So from that, we know the vitamins in here. We are told very, very often the importance of omega-3, of omega-6. We've heard them. I could list them. I could talk about this for a long time. However, we know about it. 
If you want to know more, I imagine, like myself, you would go in and do a little bit of research. But the essence behind that is that, that those products which are mentioned on the back here were just highlighted again. So we have got the vitamin E, the omega-3 and the omega-6 is fortifying. So by knowing that, we know that that's going to fortify our skin. It's going to pump health, vitality and just revitalize skin. There are so many benefits of omega-3 and omega-6. The starters, it's connected, I believe, to keeping things, uh, keeping skin youthful. It's connected to keeping things revitalized, healthy, really, really on point of everything being as it should be to lead a healthy life with healthy skin. So we know we've got that in here. Moving on. So helps against dullness, roughness. We've covered that. I get dry areas here just by the corner of my mouth. This looks after this perfectly. Dullness around the eyes if I'm not feeling particularly great. Your skin tells so much about you. I cannot absolutely agree enough. And, it, and it's strange because you think that it would be oily and cakey on your face. Like, for example, if you've used like a, a moisturizer which is meant for your skin, um, sort of, I don't know, like an after sun in the summer or anything, and, you, and, and it's really heavy, it's really rich in moisturizing. Very often if I use that on my face, it annoys me. It really does annoy me. And it's sort of like, ugh, I end up sometimes having to wash it off because it just agitates the life out of me. Whereas if I use a moisturizer like this, I know it's going to go straight into my skin within a couple of minutes. It's dry. So there, for example, if I'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable, it's winter. And of course, all these elements which are against us, central heating, if you're in it, we're spending so much more time at home because of the pandemic, it dries your skin out. If you're going out in the winter weather, all of these elements dry your skin out. If you're stressed, it dries your skin out. It can do. All of these things can happen if you're on medication. So if you wanted to use this throughout the day, perfectly fine because it's not going to make your face look as though you've got this real super shiny moisturizer on so it's really really good from that sort of uh, character as well moving on so ginseng is renowned for its skin brightening properties while caffeine powder helps to revive skin okay so again i could talk and talk and talk about caffeine in products and hair products and skin products but ultimately caffeine pumps energy it is thought that caffeine pumps energy a little bit like the omega-3 and omega-6 renowned for health vitality sort of all these great essence which we need to stay fit well and healthy and to look our best so it's pumped inside this moisturizer so ultimately you know you're getting really, really good, high quality ingredients in here. So it's going to keep looking after you, looking after your skin. And this, it really, really does do that. I've got it on this. Um, what are we? So it's this evening now, but I've used this once this morning. I used a little bit about an hour ago, just before my uh, clip, which we're doing now, just so you could see that there is naturally no sort of shininess. You can tell. I mean, there's no greasiness. I know that's how. How can you tell that? Literally. Cross my heart, you just have to have to take my word for it. There's no greasiness. It's literally a really nice soothing matte product. Really, really cool, really, really awesome. Let's move on. So directions for use. For best results, apply one to two drops of the cream to cleansed dry skin using your fingertips massage evenly around the face. Okay. So it's a pump action bottle and I don't know if actually any will come out now because I've literally in the last couple of days just come to the end of it. But you can see there's a little tiny bit in here. I'm just going to try whilst it's not going to work. Would you credit that? Let me see if I can just shake this a moment. Okay, it's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, what I'm going to do, what you would do anyway is, this is a pump action. I'm going to take this out. That's what I, well, that's what I do just to get the value of your money. Of the product because let's be honest these products aren't they're not cheap so you really want to make them last and last and last as you can see you can see the, the sort of the cream texture here and straight away do you know what, what i suffer with really badly is dry hands terrible so what i actually do sometimes after of an evening or if i've shaved in the morning and i use this on my face very often what i do is i put it all around my my sort of chin my jawline where this gets really sore and agitated after shaving or i make sure i use cream on my face at night just to sort of stay as youthful as long as possible. <laughs> and then I rub into my hands because it is that dry. Then literally straight after. So let's just wait. So it's dry, fine already. I've just put cream on my hands, don't forget. I'm picking up my phone. I'm picking up my phone and I'm touching the screen. And I'm fine. Fine with that. Not a problem at all. So there you have it. A really, really good moisturizing, revitalizing, healthy, mattifying 
moisturizer by Hawkins and Brimble. So I really, really hope you've enjoyed that clip. Skincare is really something which I do, um, I do enjoy reviewing. I haven't, I haven't done it. Um, this is something very, very new to my channel. So I think this is about the third skincare for men's skin, which I have done. So if you really have enjoyed this, please subscribe. Let me know what you think. Ask as many questions as you like. I love to receive questions from subscribers. And I'm so thankful to all my subscribers and my views. It really does mean so much to me. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very, very much indeed. Okay, so until next time, stay safe, look after yourself, and wishing you good, healthy skin. Until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.